folks, welcome back to another episode of How to Build a Backyard Observatory a Few Minutes at a Time. And welcome to a bonus episode. Some of you might be thinking, what the hell is he doing now again? He's bending rod again. Why is he bending rod again? Well guys, unfortunately I know I'm going to have to leave uh, where I currently, we've got to move from where we currently live uh, at some point. Um, I'll be building another observatory, so uh, rather than going out and renting one of these again in the future, I'm going to do another set of uh, four threaded rods. So just got back from Home Depot, um, bought another set of uh, four rods, about uh, 6 dollars a piece. That's what you're looking at for uh, each of these uh, threaded rods here. Um, I also saw at Home Depot that they actually have a, a manual version of one of these. It's, it's just a, a bending bar that you can manually uh, put a, a bend in in rebar. Um, but I think this is the, the better option here. It, it's easier, it's a nice bend um, without the hassle. So anyway, here we go. Another four threaded rods coming up. Just taking the rod and uh, lining the end up uh, at the mark that I put on there before. And uh, just... There you go, as easy as that. Now, uh, looking at that, I need actually a little bit more bend on it. It's not a, a great 90 uh, degrees there. So I think it's this setting here. And let's hit that again. Perfect. Perfect 90 degrees there, guys. So three more of those coming up. Threaded rods in a matter of uh, a minute or two. Um, well worth the uh, the rental of this uh, piece of uh, equipment, this uh, electric uh, rear bar bender. Um, there you go. As easy as that. Until next time. Next time, guys. See you later.